welcome to the Tyler Mini Maker Fair! Hey there! So we are just a couple minutes away. Want to let you guys know that you can come right down to the edge of the stage. There is plenty of space right here, right by the edge of the stage. There's a chance you will get wet. There's a chance that the closer to the stage you are, the higher the chance you will get wet. But if the wind kicks up, it could go all the way back there. We have no idea. But um, you're probably safe back there, but you, you, you guys might get just a little bit of spray coming your way, which would be awesome. Absolutely awesome. She's like, yes, 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 yes. Mom is like, no, 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 no. She's like, yes, 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 yes. So we are just a couple minutes away from the Coke Zero Mento Spectacular. 108 bottles of Coke Zero, 540 Mentos candies. Give us just a moment and we will get started. Hey there. Make some noise for Mini Make a Fair Tyler, Texas. We are so happy to be here. Um, we are EP Bird. And uh, well, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Steven. I used to be a trial lawyer. True story. My name is Fritz, and I used to be a professional juggler. And on a Saturday morning in June of 2006, we posted a three minute video on YouTube that ended both of our careers. But thankfully, it did start new ones. We posted a video of exactly, almost exactly what you're about to see in June of 2006 on a Saturday morning. And we were not ready for our website to go live yet. We were still testing it out. So we told exactly one person other than the two of us. I told one of my brothers. And that afternoon, I'm looking at the website just to see if it's working. And there's a little view count by the video that we've embedded. And I can say, Fritz, guess how many views we have? And I knew we'd only told one person, but I was feeling kind of frisky. So I was like, oh, 400. 4,000. We told one person. By the end of the day, it was 14,000 and just exploding. And now that video has been seen a hundred million times. That's the scary part. And it's brought us all over the place. We've been on Letterman, we've been on Ellen, Mythbusters. And we've, it's taken us to Istanbul, to Poland, to Abu Dhabi. But I have to say, really, our favorite part is that it brings us to places like Tyler for amazing events like Maker Faire. This, this Maker Faire is where we find our kindred spirits, where we find you know, the people who are curious about how things work, people who want to open, open things up and see what, what makes them tick, for people who understand that science isn't just something you study, science is something you do. You can go out there and you can get your hands dirty, you can make something. And that's a really, really great thing to see here in Tyler. So thank you so much for having us here at Mini Maker Fair. Absolutely. So um, if there is one thing that you take away from your time here at the E.P. Bird Cocomento Show, if there is one thing that you take away from your time here at Mini Maker Fair, we hope that it is this. Try this at home. <laughs> Yes, indeed. So we're going to show you how you can do Coke and Mentos yourself. So there's a really simple way to do what we're about to do, and you guys all have to try it. And after you hear this, there will be no excuse for anybody here to not have done this before the end of the weekend. All you need is a bottle of soda, a playing card, or a, a business card, anything like that, credit card will work, a piece of paper, and five or six Mentos mint candies. You roll the paper into a tube like this, and we're going to put the card on the bottom and then drop the Mentos into that. And that keeps all the Mentos in place so we can drop them into the bottle all at once. If you start to put the Mentos in one at a time by hand, the explosion starts to happen, the reaction starts to happen at a little bit at a time, and you can't get all of them in. But when you do it like this, very simple, you get a nice little geyser. All he's going to do is pull that card away, the Mentos are going to drop into the soda, and let's see what happens. Three, two, one, pull. <laughs> and the most important part is when that's done, arms up! 
Yes. <laughs> Good, bad, or otherwise, at the end of your fountain, always. Yes. Now we have 101? 108 bottles here. And we can't use the paper card method for that. So what we have on top of these are just a little piece of PVC nozzle that we put together. We made in our, in our lab up in Maine, in our workshop. And you can make these too. There's just a piece of PVC. Inside that we have preloaded five Mentos candies. We had some of the helpers here. Maybe some of you saw us do that. On top is a hole cut out for the, the geyser to shoot out of. And we have different colored uh, nozzles to tell us what shape holes we've cut. And then there's a pin that goes across the bottom that holds those Mentos in there. So when we pull the pin, the Mentos fall down into the soda, the reaction happens and a geyser shoots out whatever shape hole we've drilled in the top of that. And it's extremely easy to make. There's one, a couple, couple of tricks you need to, uh, the threads are the threads from an actual bottle cap and you need to cut the top off a bottle cap to keep the, to, to attach those to your PVC. But I think we've got a volunteer here who's going to help us show how the nozzles work. If you look, you can see this is a black one, which means it's got a half inch hole. And that gives a reaction that you'll see that looks like this. Is she ready? Oh, not yet. Three, two, one, pull. <laughs> Arms up. <laughs> nice, thank you, that was great. <laughs> So that one was what we call an eight. It's got a black stripe. This one's an orange one. It's got a different pattern. We'll see what that looks like. It has three holes, three smaller holes. Got, he's got to stand where he doesn't get. No, he's going to get me wet. Three, two, one, pull. <laughs> Nice, arms up. <laughs> Do one more? Sorry, we have one more? Have Let's show you one more. This one's what we call a slot. We just took a hacksaw and sawed a slot in the top of that nozzle cap. And it's purple. If you look around, you'll see some purple ones around the stage. Three, two, one, pull. Arms up. So you can make these yourself. You need some PVC. You need a way to cut the top off off the bottle cap. We use what's called a Forstner bit, which is easy to makes it easy to cut the plastic off. And if you're going to build this yourself, there is one important thing to know. You have two different kinds of plastic here. You have a PVC plastic um, for the tube and a different kind of plastic for the bottle cap. So here's what we found. You need some 3M Scotchweld DP8005 structural plastic adhesive. <laughs> yes, indeed. I can see some of you starting to write that down or poke it into your smartphones. Yes, 3M Scotchweld DP8005 structural plastic adhesive is the magic stuff that we found to bond these two kinds of plastic together. And if you, if you, you know, think of it three days from now and you're like, ah, what was that? I want to build these myself. Well, just drop us a message on Facebook, send us an email on our website, epbird.com, and we'll let you know because we want you guys making this yourself. But since you're makers, we're not going to just stop with that. So here's one thing we tried. <laughs> now that's just a lawn sprinkler from Home Depot. Oh my God. And instead of the nozzle tap, top, we glued that on top, we attached that on top. And that makes a, what we call a donut spray. You'll see that a little bit in the show. But that should give you some idea of where you guys are going to start. And we want to see what you do. So when you make your fountains and your, your new nozzles that no one has ever seen before, send them to us at epbird.com. We really want to see them. We'll post them on our website. Now, the number one question we get asked is, oh, how does this happen? How does this work? What is it about this combination of Coke and Mentos that's so explosive? And you would think that it would be a chemical reaction. You think it would be something about the ingredients of the soda and the ingredients of the Mentos, but it turns out that it's predominantly a physical reaction. It's primarily a physical reaction called nucleation. And you can see this in action if you, if you put your finger into a cup of soda, you'll see bubbles forming on the ridges of your finger. And what's happening is you've got all of this carbon dioxide, you've got all this fizz 
under pressure inside the liquid, and it is looking to escape. It wants to get out. And it will grab onto anything bumpy that it can find, like the ridges of your finger. Well, it turns out that Mentos Mint Candies, the final stages of creating a Mentos, we actually got to go to the, the big factory in Holland where all the Mentos are made. The final step is that they take thousands of Mentos and they put them inside this giant rock tumbler, tumble them around and spray them with over 40 layers of liquid sugar, which means they're not only tasty, it means that they are covered with hundreds of thousands of microscopic bumps. And every one of those bumps is a place for nucleation to happen. Every one of those bumps is a place for the carbon dioxide to grab onto. So that as these five Mentos fall, you get hundreds of thousands of bubbles forming. All this pressure is released and it sends all the soda, well, about three quarters of the soda, streaming out the mouth of the bottle. So when we were figuring this out, we were looking just to make the best show we could possibly make, the most fun video. But to do that, we had to do a lot of experimentation. So one of the things we had to try was how many Mentos? And we thought we'd show you what we, well, some of the things we tried. This is a setup with one Mentos. Three, two, one, pull. So it kind of works. <laughs> but what do we know, even if it only kind of works? Arms up! Right? When you do this at home, that's the most important part. <laughs> this, this one's got five. Three, two, one, pull. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I like the way we've divided the labor here. <laughs> I'm a lawyer, he's a juggler. <laughs> this one's got 11. Let's see if this goes any higher. This one, that's right, this one goes to 11. <laughs> Three, two, one, pull. You can see the 11 goes a little bit higher than the 5, but not a lot. So when we, we bring our own Mentos, we have to pack all these. So it's much easier to, for us to use 5, but when you do your own, you can make big ones, big tall ones that do 11 if you want. All of these have 5. Now, when you, one of the other biggest questions we get asked is, does it have to be diet soda? And the answer is no. You can use just about any fizzy beverage, including those made for adults. Yes, indeed. It does work with beer. <laughs> Which seems like a little bit of a waste. But, um, <laughs> but in fact, the, 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 the biggest geysers we have ever made were with a German champagne called Zacht. And they put so much carbon dioxide, there's so much power inside champagne. We got geysers about 50% higher than anything we've ever seen with soda pop. Truly amazing. So if anybody knows of a champagne company that would like to sponsor a performance, and you know, maybe we would have a little bit of extra bottles left over, we would be okay with that. But um, th it turns out the, there are two reasons we use we used Coke Zero and Diet Coke. First, they put a little bit more carbon dioxide into the diet sodas. So more carbon dioxide, more power. You get slightly higher geysers with diet soda than with regular. Second, most important, there's no sugar. No sugar means it's not sticky. And given that we are about to get soaked to the skin for your amusement, we do appreciate that it's not sticky. When you try this at home, and you're going to try it at home, the one thing you really need to know is that there's one variable that makes a big difference, and that's temperature. Temperature matters. We learned this the hard way. We were doing, exploring all these different effects and stuff, and we'd done our initial geysers, they looked great, and then we were trying our different sideways and twisting all the different effects we've got. 
and we were going out in front of the house to try to test them out, and our regular plane geysers suddenly were going just two, three, four feet in the air, and we couldn't figure out why. We, we knew there were videos of nine-year-olds in their driveways in Florida who were kicking our butt. <laughs> and finally we realized, he's in Florida, we're in Maine, it's March, it's cold. Once we warmed the soda up, making big geysers was much more easy. So we have here a little demonstration to show you the difference because it's, it's really surprising how just the setup Pritz has here is exactly the same on the left and on the right, except one of these bottles has been in an ice chest for the last couple hours, and one has been sitting on this black stage in the sun. And he's going to pull them about the same time and see if you can tell which one is which. Three, two, one, pull. <laughs> <laughs> Two, one, pull. <laughs> exactly right. The only difference is temperature, so when you do this yourself, use warm soda. Do not warm them up in the microwave. <laughs> The easiest thing to do, if you, if you have soda that is from the, from the refrigerator or if it's, not, if it's not warm enough, just fill your sink, your kitchen sink, with hot tap water. Let them sit in that tap, tap water for five or ten minutes and they'll be perfect. Room temperature is good enough, a little warmer is better, but don't microwave them, don't try to heat them in the oven. <laughs> not, a good, not a good plan. We've tried. <laughs> Actually, my favorite little disaster story was um, so, uh, a, a woman uh, came up to us one time and said, Oh, you're those Coke and Mentos guys. My daughter tried your little Coke and Mentos thing in the car <laughs> on the way to the airport. All the clothes, all the luggage, all everything was soaking wet. My favorite part, she was 17 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty awesome. So yeah, when you do try this at home, try it at home, outdoors, not in the living room, not in the car. Now, um, you, for more DIY information, you can visit our website, epbird.com. You'll find all kinds of experiments, all kinds of things you can do yourself. And in fact, we have a new book out. It's a book called How to Build a Hovercraft. Uh, how to Build a Hovercraft and 25 other cool DIY science experiments. Everything from Coke and Mentos to Coke and Mentos from mini rocket car to, uh, oh gosh, make spider web illusions. Uh, and how to build your own hovercraft with just a she half sheet of plywood and a leaf blower. So in like an hour with just a couple tools, you can have your own hovercraft that you can ride on. It's pretty cool. So um, yeah, check out our website for more videos. You'll find uh, videos with uh, 250,000 sticky notes, uh, a full-size Coke and Mentos rocket car that pushed me down the road over 200 feet. Oh yes, oh yes. Um, and after the show, after the show, you know, it, it took us about two and a half hours to get all this stuff set up. And in two and a half minutes, it's all going to be all over us and all over the ground. There will be 108 bottles on this stage. Each one with just about this much warm soda pop. It's completely flat. Has a slightly minty aftertaste. <laughs> if you would like a souvenir of your time here at the Evie Bird Show, if you'd like a souvenir of your time here at Mini Maker Fair, just come over to the sides of the stage after the show. Give us about two or three minutes after the show. We will have all these bottles to give away for you to take home as a souvenir of your time here at Mini Maker Fair. So I think that's about it. Are you guys ready? Awesome. Make some noise for Tyler Mini Maker Fair.
goodness. Wow. I am soaking wet. Who wants a hug? <laughs> Make sure you tell all your friends about this really wonderful event. Thank you guys so much. We'll have some bottles right over here in about two, three minutes to give away. Thank you guys. We are Eepy Bird. We'll see you later.